Let's talk about the types of hepatitis. First, let's break apart the word hepatitis. Hepat means it's related to the liver and itis means inflammation. So hepatitis is inflammation of the liver. Now the key thing to know about hepatitis is how each type is transmitted. Hep A is transmitted fecally or orally. This usually happens when someone consumes contaminated food or water. So the memory trick here is Hep A comes from anything you ate helping you remember its fecal oral transmission. Where hep B is transmitted through bodily fluids. B think baby's blood and bedroom. B think babies because it can be transmitted during childbirth from mother to baby. B for blood and B for bedroom activities like unprotected sex or sharing needles. So B think baby's blood and bedroom. Now hep C is transmitted through bodily fluids as well, similar to hep B, but the most common route is blood to blood contact. So hep C comes from circulation or blood to blood. This includes sharing needles or unscreened blood transfusion before screening methods were established. Now for hep D, this is a bit unique because it can only occur in people who already have had hep B. So the memory trick here is hep D depends on hep B. Again, you can only get hep D if you've already had hep B. And lastly, we have hep E, which is transmitted fecally or orally similar to hep A. The memory trick here is hep E comes from eating contaminated foods. If you need more help with med surge topics in nursing school, you can grab the med surge flashcards. You can find them on my shop, Nurse in the Making. Happy studying, future nurses.